Hey, so how are you? All right, so this week's topic is, oops, it's Wednesday. Um, this week's topic is about your superpower sense of smell. So um, the topic today that I chose to explore our sense of smell is black pepper. So our superpower, you've heard me say it before, and there's a link in the comments, the description of where to find more information in detail about why your sense of smell is your superpower, how it interacts with the brains. But here's the three ways we get to use it mentally, emotionally, and when we're more balanced mentally and emotionally, for me, what that translated into is better sleep, which meant better levels of energy. So physically. So for me, mentally, emotionally, and that translated to physical benefits as well. So when you don't have all that much stuff in your brain to process at night, one of the purposes of sleep is to process the stuff that's happened during the day. So when you're able to quickly work through situations and reset throughout the day, and when you've cleared a lot of memories and emotions that were stuck, for me, that translates into better sleep because my brain doesn't need as much time or energy to process things at night. So I wake up more refreshed. And there's been some of my clients that have expressed that same thing, that all of a sudden they're waking up before their alarm and they feel fine. They feel energized. Nothing's wrong. It's not insomnia. It's just, you know, they're done sleeping. So I think that's super powerful. So one of the earliest essential oils or smells, you, if you don't have oils, it's not necessary um, to explore your sense of smell. I highly recommend them because they're super concentrated and there's more information on my website about why that's the case and how plants harness the power of the sun and how we, we extract that. But if you just want to explore your sense of smell, grab some peppercorns. So I had a series of blogs that I was working on about fruit and we covered citrus. So orange, lemon, lime, and some of how that helps you and why it helps you. So um, the, also a fruit is black pepper. And we don't always think of, I would have never thought fruit, black pepper is a fruit. And the peppercorn itself that, you know, the little dried peppercorn, that's actually the whole fruit. That's not the seed of the plant. So black pepper is considered a fruit. And remember um, the smell of fruit, like the citruses, the black pepper has a similar effect energetically. So let me just look at my notes. So it helps you open up emotionally, mentally to clear um, the negativity that might be stuck within us. So one of my earliest experiences with my sense of smell was black pepper. And I found it deeply, deeply um, grounding, which is unusual for a fruit to be grounding. That's usually the root oils. But it just, it helped me feel um, less disconnected, you know. So when I was in um, unhealthy interactions and I was a little bit stuck, or I wanted to mentally escape that just helped me stay in the moment, stay here and be able to address the situation that my body was telling me to address, but it was too scary to think about. So it kind of gave me the strength and the courage that I needed that, that little bit of black pepper. So I wrote about that. And so that's what this week's blog topic is about is black pepper. So if you want to explore that without essential oils, just grab some peppercorns. And I always tell people just to explore your sense of smell, just rub it between your palms. So take a few peppercorns, rub it between your palms. You don't want to just sniff black pepper. You don't. <laughs> so just take some peppercorns, rub them between your palms, set them down. Right, so now the oils from that dried fruit, even though dried fruit and um, things that are dried, like dried herbs, tend to have less oils, there's still some oil left in, and that's what gives it the flavor. So if you rub that between your palms, release the natural oils of the herb or the spice or whatever you're using to explore, and then set it aside, 
place your hands like a tent over your nose and mouth and breathe and then see, you know, make some notes, you know, so say, oh, I experimented with lemon, right? So scratch the rind, rub that between your palms, set it aside, take a nice deep breath and make some notes how, how you felt responding to that and see if it's the same thing every time, you know, maybe one day it has this effect, another day it has that effect. So keep like a little journal of what you're doing to explore your sense of smell. So what you used and what effect you noted that it had on you. So this series of posts was about lemon, lime, orange, black pepper. And then I have one more that is an unusual thing we don't think of as a fruit. So I'll have that one out next week. So just explore your superpower. I have a link in the description why I keep calling our sense of smell our superpower. And it's so, so helpful to just explore how that will help release you. If you've never been to an Aroma Freedom session, a full one hour session, I encourage you to take advantage of that because that is where we just take some time to just use our sense of smell to help clear that out. And um, if somebody wants essential oils as samples for their session, I can send those. If you have them, great. We could just use what you have. And I've had people that just want to show up and just explore. So they might grab some fresh basil or some spices that they have. Um, I had one person call me she used just an orange herbal tea bag. So, and she had a great experience. So, you know, it's something to explore, something to consider. Why not if it's going to help you emotionally, mentally, and potentially physically as that ripples down? So, that's why I encourage you to use your superpower, learn more about it. And please, I would love to hear if you do experiment with black pepper or one of the citruses and next week, some of the other things that we talk about. I'd love to hear what your experience is and how that shows up for you and how that helps shift things in your world a little bit. So love to hear back if you care to comment either here on the video, if you're watching this on YouTube, or if you're watching this in my Facebook group, or if you're um, reading my blog post, wherever you happen to be watching this video, I would love to hear back. If you just want to drop me a text or an email, that works too. So super great. You have an amazing day and I will see you another time.